behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. During this coronavirus crisis, you've probably heard lots of talk about fevers and taking your own temperature. However, a viewer shared her concerns with us about the accuracy of these home thermometers. And now we're hearing on top of that that 98.6 might not be the magic number after all. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas seeks out the truth about temperatures. This story starts on the World Wide Web. A viewer sent us a conversation log with a customer service rep. The viewer said she bought two thermometers, the same model, and took her temperature with each back to back, only to get different readings, one at 98.6 and another at 97.7. Most of the thermometers or other devices you can buy into a grocery or a drugstore really are not as accurate as in the hospital or a doctor's office. Carmen Catazone is the executive director for the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy. They're really just meant to give you an indication that there may be a problem so that you can follow up on that with your doctor or with your caregiver. Catazone says if you're below 99 with no other symptoms, there's no need to panic. But if you're feeling sick, you should be cautious and keep checking. Some thermometers are more accurate than others. Buy a product that has some good ratings on it or in a product that may be more than just a few dollars. Our viewers' concerns stem from the Walgreens Flex Tip 2 second digital thermometer, which has just one and a half out of five stars on Walgreens.com and plenty of accuracy complaints. Catazone sent over a list of top rated thermometers and many are currently unavailable on Amazon. But even with the high demand, you can still find some others on the website. And if you get one and it doesn't say 98.6 exactly, you might still be just right. 98.6 has long been the gold standard, but a 2017 study of 35,000 British people found an average of about 97.9. Your temperature on a regular basis may be slightly higher or lower than the 98.6. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. Catazone also says to take into account whether your temperature may have changed for some other reason, like if the room that you're in is very warm or if you've just worked out. He also says digital thermometers may be more accurate than those old-fashioned mercury ones.